lead you out to old school today? Well, she came out to uh, old school to interview Dusty Harrison and his father Buddy and see what was going on uh, in his career. Obviously, he had that big fight uh, December 10th in the young part of Tom Peterson. And just wanted to see uh, what type of momentum he's built uh, since then and what his contractual situation is and stuff like that. Yeah, so um, what's, what's in store for you next from here? Um, I'm based out of the North California and San Francisco area. I'm going to head out there. Uh, some, big, some big news, you know, uh, Robert Guerrero was in the thick of the running for the Floyd Mayweather fight. Gold Boy and uh, executives just had a meeting on Friday to discuss uh, who they're going to go with. Uh, obviously, I'm their board. Come out the big Super 6 win. They're going to be covering him to see what's going on there. And uh, uh, hoping to come out to San Antonio uh, on February 4th. Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao, what do you think is going to happen with that fight there, if, if it ever happens? Well, you know, it looks like, you know, Floyd set that date for May 5 because he was able to get his jail uh, sentence was phone uh, from January 6th. He was initially supposed to come into uh, jail last week, and luckily uh, his uh, attorney, Richard Wright, came in, had an appeal, noting that his fighter, if he were to fight on May 5, would be bringing about $100 million to the local community in Las Vegas, so they set that aside, and uh, uh, he's supposed to be able to fight on May 5. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to be Manny Pacquiao. Too many things in the way of that fight happening, whether it's uh, you know the animosity between Floyd, who used to fight for top rank, and Bob Arum, and obviously Bob, who at the same time isn't is quite open to, to, to dealing with Floyd, uh, especially you know with, with, with the things that have been said on both sides. And then you've got Manny, who in my opinion has been a little timid as far as calling out uh, for this fight publicly. He has gone out and, and said something, but in the end all, you know, I always believe if two guys want to make a fight, they won't go through Twitter, they won't go through the media, they're, they're going to meet behind the closed doors and make a fight happen. So maybe in the fall, but uh, May 5, just not right now. Yeah, you're talking uh, Mayweather and Robert Guerrero. So maybe that maybe that be one in the future. Maybe uh, it feels like it seems like Mayweather is just running out of guys to fight, and especially if he's if the fight with Manny doesn't go down. Uh, the animosity, like I said, between Bob Arum and with Floyd, is going to prevent a lot of fights uh, between Mayweather and the top ranked stables. So you know that cuts out pretty much 50 percent of the big name fighters. He's, he's he's been running through the Golden Boy stable. Uh, if it is Robert, I mean. I call me crazy, but I think that's actually going to be uh, a decent matchup just for the sake that, just for the reason that Robert is southpaw, like he's tall, he's a smart fighter. They always say he's, you know, he's a grand, he hasn't fought above 135 pounds yet, but I see Robert all the time. He walks around at 150, 151. Um, he's actually hoping to jump straight to Welter uh, uh, since his uh, injury that he's recovered from to his shoulder. So if that fight were to go down, I don't think it would be as big as a mismatch as, as many would say. You gotta give Floyd, a, you gotta make Floyd a huge uh, favor in that fight, but uh, I definitely think it'd be a better matchup than, than, than if uh, Floyd were to take out Canelo Alvarez, which I think would be a, a pure 12 round. It's not, uh, it's not a domination over 12. I think Floyd would stop him. We just had Buddy Harrison come in. Hey, buddy, what's going on? How you doing? Keep that camera roll. I'm going to tell you this guy did. Uh, I'm not joking. There's been over 100, maybe 150 stories written about Belcher. The best story, the most touching one, is the one that he wrote about Belcher. And I really mean that. And I'm not saying it because he's here and he's big and strong. I'm saying that because I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. Speaking of Dusty, uh, what's going on with Dusty, buddy? Uh, he's going to fight March 10th. I don't know who he has, but he's got the Washington Convention. Is it definitely going to happen? Oh, it's going to happen. Okay. okay. I, in fact, I'm going to find two guys just in case something doesn't happen. Tell you this, we are a few months away from the Dusty's 18th birthday, which will be May 21st. I think his career is going to kick in after the, the 18th birthday. Well, what happens is right now you can only fight Tennessee, Washington, D.C. games, etc. Um, so I'm going to have to find a new crowd. We can go anywhere then, you know, the 18th. Okay.
a hometown favorite, so it, it might be a good idea to keep him here, you know, make a little money, you know, get his record built up pretty good, and then you can travel the country. I got a up.